Whiskey by the fire, whiskey by the fire, whiskey by the fire with chops. Hey, and welcome to episode three of Whiskey by the Fire with Chops. I am your host, the one and only Chops. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Uh, you can see I've got my, my fire in the background there. Uh, spare no expense, you know. Industrial light and magic came by with you know, some hits and you know, ideas for me, and so there's my fire. And when you back away from it a little bit like that, it almost it almost looks like there's, there's smoke in the room. So, but there's not actual smoke in the room. All right, um, getting started. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, you know we're kind of changing formats a little bit. I'm trying to add a bit more of actual musical content and and uh, I have a we have a really great interview uh, I'm really really excited for this one um, uh, a good friend of mine living in, living down in Orlando uh, originally from Tipperary Laura Tipperary in Ireland uh, one of the best tenor banjo players I've ever ever had the pleasure of playing with um, I used to play on a regular basis with him at Christie's on Tuesday nights uh, so later on that that interview will be coming up later on uh, it was really good to catch up with him I was only trying to get about a five-minute interview, ended up getting about 15 minutes, and it's all class, so I'm going to keep it in. Uh, and so we cut, cut a few other things for time, uh, like joke of the week and fact of the week and uh, so forth like that. Um, so I'm going to do uh, a little bit of birthdays of the week right now. I, I still want to celebrate uh, birthdays of people I know, people I miss, I haven't seen in a long while, with this lockdown and everything. Who knows when we'll get a chance to see you know, each other again. Uh, so first and foremost, mein Schwester in Deutschland, Carola Sonnenfeld, definitely gotta give her a, a happy birthday, you know, Gebirgsdorf, mein Freund. She's uh, one of my, one of my Bremen family. Uh, I miss her dearly. Um, hopefully when, when the rest of the world realizes that us Americans aren't jerkwads and they open up the traveling again, I can go over to Germany and visit with her. Um, uh, another one of my favorite New Haven people of all time, Chris, Chris Esposito. Everyone knows him as Spo. Uh, been around a long time. This guy is uh, it's all heart. A good guy, a good friend. Um, uh, and of course, uh, Doron, Doron Gershman. And I, I wish I knew Hebrew for happy birthday, but um, I'm, I'm just going to say in English happy birthday, and I hope you pampered for your, for your birthday because you're, you're a cool dude and you deserve it. Um, and then as well, uh, my friend Andrew Morgan's wife Esther, uh, who's an absolute sweetheart, she has two endearing, lovely, wonderful children. Um, it's it's nice that uh, we have social media that I can kind of catch up with how they're doing, growing up, and everything. Um, it it's I don't even think it sounds creepy. It just it's nice because you can kind of get you know so oh, hey this, there's a milestone there's a milestone you know first day of school last day of school you know. Um, just uh, it's 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 nice, you know. It's, social media is a, it's a nice platform to uh, to uh, kind of keep up with what's going on in the world around you and everything. Um, and then um, uh, just I'm going to try to keep things very positive too. So um, right now I'm going to show our um, the uh, our viral video of the week. This one here is another good favorite of mine that. Uh, I, uh, I really like it, it kind of, it warms your heart, kind of brings it to your, to your eye and says, and it shows you what the world should be. Viral clip of the week. <laughs> My friend, you are just adorable. Wasn't that just the cutest thing? There's, um, I, I often go to YouTube and I'll jump down that rabbit hole of just like really cute 
and just doing endearing videos of just uh, a lot of times it's kids, you know, kids asking their step parents to adopt them, or soldiers coming home, or pet, pets being reunited with, with their soldiers. Uh, uh, just you know, just feel feel good stuff. You know, you kind of need that these, these days because I mean we're we're approaching 137,000 people who who died from this coronavirus. And they're still trying to push to, to open up Disney's opening up. Um, you know, there's uh, a lot of states that have opened up and then they're closing down again. Um, but um, it's just, you know, it, I, I, I really hope that we can kind of get ahead of this. Um, Connecticut is doing a pretty decent job. Um, don't come to Connecticut. Don't come to Connecticut. Do good in your own state. We've got this nailed down. Don't come to Connecticut. We don't need to. Uh, maskless people running around and ruining it for us. Um, but um, uh, I'm going to do a, a classic music clip from the Clancy's. But, uh, of course, I love the Clancy Brothers. That was my start to liking Irish music was the Clancy Brothers. Um, so without even any further introduction, I'm, you know, here it is. I'm going to play a clip of the, the Clancy Brothers for you. In the merry month of June, from me home I started, left the girls a tune, nearly broken heart, I saluted father dear, kissed me darling mother, drank a pint of beer, me grief and tears to smother, then up to reap the corn, leave her I was born, with the stout my corn to banish ghosts, and got us a brand new pair of ropes, rattling all the pots and frightening all the dogs, on the rocky road to Dublin, one, two, three, four, five, cut the hair and turn her down the rocky road, and all the way to Dublin, whack the Lundy Rock. In Mullen Garden night I rested and so weary Started by daylight, my spirits fly The nary took a drop of the pure Keep me heart from sinking, that's the paddy's cure Whenever he's on for drinking to see The lassie smile, laughing all the while At the curious strength to set your heart to bubble And ask if I was hired to wage as I required Till I was nearly tired of the rocky to double and watch your teeth for five Hunt the hair and turn her down the rocky road And all the way to double and wipe the lonely rock And double and next to ride I thought it such a pity to be so soon To find a view of that great city Well then I took a stroll All among the quality but rule it was sold And in a neat locality something crossed my mind When I looked behind no button Could I find a pot me stick A wobbling and fired for the road Then me cannot broke but much it falls on the rocky road to double now one, two, three, four, five. Cut the hair and turn her down the rocky road to fall the way to double and fight the lonely rock. From there I got away, my spirits never pale and landed on the quay just as the ship was sailing. The captain at me roared, said that no room had he when I jumped aboard. I haven't found for Paddy down among the pigs. They so far he reached and some hearty jeeps the water round me bubble and when a folly head wished myself was dead or better far instead on the rocky road to double and one, two, three, four, five hunt the hair and turn or down the rocky road and all the way to double and whack the lovely rock the boys a Liverpool when we safely landed, call myself a fool. I could no longer stand it. Blood began to boil. Temper I was losing more of air and They began abusing around as house as I shall lay the island like all way boys were like so I was hobbling with a loud array. Joined in the affray, we quickly fell away for the rocky road to double and one to three for five. Hunt the hair and turn her down the rocky road and all the way to double and white for Lundy uh, nothing beats the classics. That's a, a favorite of mine. It's a, a real lung buster. You got to have your lungs in order. <laughs> You're going to try to sing that one because the verses just come right after each other. Kind of like Rat and Lung Bog or, or uh, uh, you know, some of the other ones where you really have to just really be on top of things with that. Um, uh, this is, this is going to bring us on to our interview of the week, actually. Uh, like I said, I was very happy to get him for at least just like a five minute interview. Uh, and uh, we just, of course, being friends, we just kind of caught up and just, we both start to kind of ramble in the five minute interview and being a 15 minute interview. Um, but uh, without further ado, uh, my, my good friend, an amazing musician, um, and I, I can't wait to get together and play music with him again. 
Mr. P.O. Ryan. Uh, how are you keeping? I'm doing good. This is my show. Called, okay. It's called Whiskey by the Fire with Chops. Okay. So if you can see in my background, I've got my fireplace going there. I've had George Lucas and Steven Spielberg in to help me out with my special effects. I'm sorry I don't have whiskey now, actually. <laughs> uh, that's right. I got, a li- I got a little bit left. I got enough for the both of us. So. Okay, okay, cool, cool. This, this, this week is uh, Kill Megan. Okay, brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, I'm, not too, I'm not too far from there myself at home where I brought up. Yeah. I'm around 45 minutes, 50 minutes away from Kilbegan. I, yeah. I, I know a girl's about 10 minutes away from, from the distillery right there in Kilbegan in Westmeath. So, oh. Mulling, but right there in Mullingar, not long. So. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, not too far now at all. But, uh, so with this whole lockdown and everything, how you how you faring with it, you know? Yeah, so... Um, Florida opened up on the 4th of May, uh, obviously at 25% capacity. I was gigging from the 8th and the 9th, and initially it was going great. I got, you know, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and it was going great for a while. And then um, a lot of the bars then, you know, a few weeks later, um, there, there's, you know, right, a surge in cases. So a lot of bars had to, you know, you said music is one of the first things to be cut back when when bars have to cut back on 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 their um you know their capacity for dining and all that. So um, it's a bit slow at the moment. Won't lie to you, but gigs are still going ahead. A lot of people have, are very busy, especially people that might be playing a Raglan Road or over in Universal Studios. They have an Irish bar there on on their um on their boardwalk there. So um, not too bad at the moment, but not not like pre-COVID, you know. But, so we're working yeah. at it. We're working on it, you know. Yeah, so. I myself, you know, I myself in the, in the month of if, of March, in a span of three days, I lost all my gigs for the year. My recording project, I had I had a full length record that I was going to be recording that I had to put on the back shelf. Because it's just, it's just not going to happen this year, you know. Yeah, yeah, That's, and I can't. Yeah, you know, yeah, I can't see like. What can um, you do? Yeah, like I can't see any festivals this year or anything. I'm I'm actually even worried for next St. Patrick's Day, to be honest. Unless yeah. there's a vaccine, I can't see yeah. a parade I'm, going anywhere. Bars might be open and all that, but who knows, like what way it will be? It's just it's just the only thing um, we know is that we don't know at the moment, you know. So exactly. not even yeah, so. But uh, still playing tunes. I've been playing a gig now in a little bit. I'll have to leave now in a yeah. I'm leaving now in a few minutes and uh, playing tonight in Mickey Finn's in Claremont. Yeah, which I've been seeing. I've been seeing your ads on your page for that. For that, you know. Yeah. And that's yeah, the but, that's the Ramblin' Rovers you guys with. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm doing um, a tour um, in October to Ireland, but that might be put back now. It's called Irish, um, the Ramblin' Rovers Irish Folk Tour. Yeah. So it's just bring, we just bring um, people over from America. We do a bus tour, you know, the Wild Atlantic Way, and um, all all up to Dublin through the Midlands. And there's music every night and on the bus and just general general crack, you know yourself. Good times. So so for my. My many viewers out there in in, uh, in uh, the web land, in uh, the internet land, and like that, just give me a give me a quick bio about yourself. You know, like where you're from and uh, how you got your start with music and whatnot. Okay, so I'm originally from Lura in County Tipperary, which is um, up, up, the yep. most northerly parish in um, County Tipperary. Actually, it's it's actually very central. I'm near Portumna in County Galway, near Bor in County Offaly. Um, we're right in between those two towns. Um, so I started playing music, I suppose, when I was eight or nine, playing the whistle, like every every young lad in Ireland. And then I went on to the fiddle. And then after a while, I went on to the banjo, um, because my brother played the banjo, and he went to college. He kind of gave it up for a while, and the banjo was left there. And my dad said, you might as well play that. It's the same tune, and it's a fiddle. Give it a go. And I used to bring it to sessions, and i play one or two tunes, and then it turned into four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And after a year... I was playing the banjo mostly. And then you know, you, after that, you knocked the dust off it and made it. Then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did it in college, did Irish music in college, and went out to New York. I was there for years. I'm sure you know yourself every Tuesday up in uh, Christie's. Oh, yeah. You know yourself, Jessica. We're still, we're, we still talk fondly of that, you know. We miss yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we still do it. Right. Yeah. Myself yeah. and Gogarty and, and uh, everybody else. So, you know, well, you know, uh, one of, you know one of the one of the lads used to come out there, big big tall guy, Kevin, who played a left-handed twelve-string guitar. Well, oh, I remember Kevin. He was a firefighter, but he used to come every once in a blue moon. He'd come in and sit in like that. He's actually who I'm living with right now. I moved into his, up into okay. his up into his gaff up in Hampton, so things are good. Oh, good. Yeah. 
Okay, great. Yeah, I remember those days. It's, it's, it's great. It's never a dull moment. Anyway. <laughs> always, always good, always good. But, so, uh, yeah, no, actually, I, I, I got a chance to, I went down to uh, uh, Porterhouse, uh, down the Lower East Side there with Gogarty and, and your brother, Donny, and yeah, sat okay. in and play, played some tunes down there not too long ago with, uh, with my buddy, George. He came down, okay. so we sang some tunes like that. We got home way too late. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it's, it's it's going to happen with that, that way, you know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when you close the place out, and they're just like they keep handing the pints and say, "Ah, oh, now come on, stick around. The pack's good," you know. Uh, well, if, I, if I was there, you would have got home later. <laughs> we ended up we, we ended up missing the last train and had to take a, a an Uber from Stanford all the way to New Haven, which wow. uh, wasn't it wasn't actually wasn't as expensive as I thought it was going to be, but you know, still, at home about yeah. five o'clock in the morning, you know. Another story to put in the bag. <laughs> oh, always, and, yeah, uh, just yeah. one of the one of the ones we can remember, you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, um, hopefully, you'll be down to New York again soon enough, sooner rather than later. Yeah, yeah, I miss it. I definitely miss yeah. it. You know, get down there yeah. to see you know everyone else like that. But uh, now, do you have any recommendations on anybody low and anybody current that you would that you re you'd recommend to to listen to? Um, yeah, let me see. Um, there's a band that I really love right now. Um, they're mostly from County Offaly. One guy's from Tipperary, but they're a band called Jig Jam. Don't know if you ever heard of them. Yeah, I actually have. When yeah, I lived, yeah. So, when I lived out yeah, in Indiana, I lived out in Indiana, and they got booked out at uh, the the Golden Ace Inn out in Indianapolis. Oh yes, yeah. They played there a few times. St. Patrick's Day as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're a brilliant band. I like to listen to. I've let me see who else now. There's a band in uh, also from Offaly and Tipperary as well, um, Splendid Isolation. Um, they're a newish band. They're only I'd say they're only together less than a year now where where they're where they're touring but are um gigging like live gigs, but they're a great band. Um let me see. To be honest with you, I've been listen, listening to a lot of old stuff yeah. during the COVID stuff yes. that's probably like Jerry O'Connor, Jerry Banjo O'Connor, uh, and all that. Jerry O'Connor, yeah. thanks to you, thanks to you, I've, I've been listening to him a lot actually. You know. Yeah. yeah and, uh, Liam O'Flynn, I've been listening to a lot of Liam O'Flynn. Yeah, that's you know, sure, right. Yeah, get into the pipe music too. So. The Given Note, that album was absolutely fantastic. You know, it's one, one, one of the stalwart albums. Um, let me see who else has listened to Mary Bergen. I've been listening to a lot recently. Um, let me see who else. Um, Davy Spillan, I've been listening to a little bit lately. Um, yeah, like like him. Um, he does a slow air. I forget the name of it now. If I'm useless for names. He, he used to play it with Riverdance, but it, it's a, it's a brilliant piece of music. If anyone to just put Davy Spillane and Riverdance, it's just a great piece of music. And um, let me see. How they, um, see who who else have I been listening to now? There's so actually so many now. I'm kind of listening all over the all over the shop now. Who else have been listening to? Um, if I can remember their names. God, chops. Names are, are names are just leaving my head now. Sorry about that. But, uh, what's just like when you're sitting in a session and say, what's, what was the name of that tune? I, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. exactly. <laughs> and, and with COVID, it's, and there's so many musicians doing live live feeds and all that. Like, yeah. you, you took loads upon loads of them. And then you're like, oh, forget who I was listening to. You know, but you're kind of listening to everything that comes across. You know, it's been great, actually. In that respect, COVID, you know, a lot of a lot of people that you never really get a chance to listen to. You can listen to them a lot, like like nearly every four or five days or every week at least, you know. Yeah. So it's been great, it's been great that way, you know. But I'm sure everyone's itching to get back gigging, you know, in front of a live audience. I'm catching, you know, so. I'm catching up with a lot of uh, a lot of Facebook live feeds for like, of course, Gogarty's up, you know. Pat, Absolutely, yeah, Pat great. Allen's been up there, Patsy O'Brien. Uh, but I've been, I've been I've been watching Dario Ferrell. Fer I've been watching him a lot. Oh yeah, Dario Ferrell. Yeah, he's brilliant. He's yeah. Amazing on that bazooki, man. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. So he was in the Four Winds, I believe, wasn't it? That band. Uh, you know, I'm not sure actually. The, the yeah. most I, the most I know about him, he was an electrician who just decided he didn't want to be an electrician anymore. He wanted to try his go with music, and so he just quit his job, and he's been doing music since. Yeah. But, yeah, good for him. Good for him because he he's he's savage, man. He's unbelievable. Yeah, he is. He's he's outstanding. Yeah, he's outstanding. He's he's the most unique talent I've seen in a while. You know, for for what he does. You know, it hasn't been um. I suppose Don Lunny. I know there's been loads in between, but like I see a lot of similarities. Are not Don Lunny, but um. 
I the uh, the guy that was in um God chops everything is forget uh Johnny used to play with, sorry with Christy Moore. Sorry, say that again. John Moynihan? Yeah, he was good too. Yeah, I was thinking of um God names are freaking leaving me now, so sorry about that though. Um that is, that's okay. Yeah, blame the, the, blame the corona man. Blame Don Lunny. Um Oh, yeah, let's get the name of the band now, but yeah, came in span 70s. But um, yeah, he's a unique talent, Deary Farrett. Yeah, yeah, listen to him now a lot. The Monaghan Grey Mare, he does a great version of that. So, yeah, um, so, yeah. So, the, the, but, uh, the Craig and White Hair is the one I like, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's another one as well. That he does, that's, yeah. that's, the, that's the first tune that I heard from him, and I thought, okay, this guy, I gotta look this guy up. So I got a couple of his albums and just uh. I've been following his online stuff, and it's, it's good stuff, you know. It's keep me, keep, keep my hands not idle, you know. It's good. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, yeah, so COVID has been good for that. A lot of new materials come out, or bands that you haven't heard before or don't hear enough of, you know. So it's, it's, it's been really great for that. So And um, banjo players as well, a lot of them out there that I haven't heard of. And there's um, been a lot of banjo you know, luthiers, banjo makers that I haven't heard of that are kind of coming, you know, you hear more of now, you know, Thomas Quinn and all that, so, and uh, also, you know, Halloran, he's up in Belfast, in Antrim there, another great guy for banjos as well, like, I never heard of him before COVID, you know, so, um, you just, they're just talking about banjos, you know, so everyone's trying to connect, you know, that kind of way, so, but, um, how's music where you are? Is there anything outside in the patios it's or? There, there, uh, I know Sean, who, who was in the Alehounds with me, he was doing some stuff on the side, uh, just by, by himself. I was doing some Facebook Live stuff when we first went, when we first went on lockdown, and then uh, uh, I, I, I cashed in some, I cashed in some investments that I had, so I'm going to be good for a few months, you know, just on my own. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. I don't, I don't have to play if I don't want to, but I, every once in a while I pick up the banjo or the bazooki, or I got a tenor guitar now that I play. And, oh, uh, great, great. And, and yes. I love it. It's great, you know. Just good one yeah, and two finger, one and two finger chords. You know, easy to easy to play along with, and just uh, so you know, I just kind of just doing stuff on my own, trying to learn new tunes. You know, and just you know, yeah, that's I got all the time. About. I might as well, you know. That's it. This is the time to do it. Like if you don't do it now, you never will. You know, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know. And um, what kind of tenor guitar did you get? It's actually it was a gift from a. Uh, when I uh, I had a house fire at my apartment a couple of years yeah, ago, I heard that. Yeah. and I ended up losing a few instruments and everything, and a few of the guys from the Veterans Administration, the, the Veterans Hospital, they got together and pooled their money together and got me a Fender. It's a Fender, oh, okay. you know, so it's nice. It's nice. It's, it's there's no totally. no bells or whistles on it, but it sounds beautiful. That's, that's what it's all about. You know, Any so. thicker strings on it? That's it's the only thing, you know. Yeah. Okay. Thin okay, strings yeah. a little too wispy, you know. All right, okay. Yeah. But other, than that, them. <laughs> other than that, good stuff, though, man. Good stuff. But, ah, uh, brilliant. So, yeah, yeah. So, it's great to see that you're doing well anyway. Yeah, so, um, I'm, I'm itching to get back to Connecticut and New York myself, but I can't see it in the next few months. But when it does happen, it'll, oh. be, it'll be great. It'll yeah, be we'll, we'll make it go away. We'll make yeah, it go away. Exactly, you know, exactly. Paint the, paint, paint the town green. I think yeah. the last time I saw you was in New York, right? In, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We did that session down at uh, Black. Was it Blackthorn? No, no, uh, Gramercy Tavern was it? Yep, that was it. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. T.J. Kevens, that's uh, that's his session he runs. Uh, yeah, you know, that was so. that was that was a good night, man. That was that was a lot of fun, you know. Yeah, and there's a a Ducey guy that that's his last name on guitar with us that night. He's a brilliant guitar player. I think he plays with Luna a, a little bit now as well, actually. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So he, yeah, he's he's quite good and. Um, I forget who came joined us. I think, yeah, but that was last when was that? That was oh, well, last September, last August. Andrew, but something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it was, so. it was probably uh, uh, maybe Fe I think it might have been February is when and Donny and I and, and Gogarty got together. I think. Yeah. I think, I think that's what it was. I just remember it being like February and, and un unusually warm for February, but. Uh, uh, hey, that's what kind of world we're living in, you know. <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't know I was going to hit us after that. <laughs> uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't want to keep. I don't want to keep it too long. Oh, cause yeah. I, cause I know you guys. Job. Listen, thanks for giving us a call there, and for best of luck with the show. It's a great uh, thing you have not a, there. Anyway. Not a problem, man. It's just, I, I, I keep telling myself of all the people I want to have uh, guest, you know, guesting on the show like that. 
they're definitely going to be admitted musicians who I admire, but also friends of mine. I want to, I want to throw them there, you know, because exactly. keeping things positive, you know. And uh, maybe in another time, maybe give me a call on the show. We'll have a few tunes together. Definitely, definitely, yeah. man. Yeah, love you. You're going All that right. way. And I'll have my whiskey. Okay, Jobs. Thanks for having me. Yo, to the big love you, I love you, brother. We'll see you soon. Okay. Love you, man. Mind yourself. Bye. Uh, it was great catching up with him. Uh, I miss him. He's the, the big man himself, you know, the legend from, from Tipperary. It said that he's seven feet tall, mostly by his friends who break the stones. So he's, he's a tall individual. He's the younger brother, and he's the tall one. His brother Tony is the one who's about five foot four, five foot five. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it was a uh, you know it was, it was it was a real pleasure to get him on the show. And uh, like it, like I said, he even suggested during the interview uh, coming on, having a little bit of whiskey, and playing a couple tunes together. Which uh, eventually, uh, th these shows are kind of coming along as they go along here. Uh, even like even now, I'm um we're we're, we're actually uh, we're I have, little bit ahead of schedule so I'm actually going to play uh, a, a, a comedy clip of the week of uh, as an English comedian who, who had a, a bit about Irish names uh, if you haven't seen it it's really it's really funny Lee Mack he's an English comedian he's, he's, he's brilliant uh, check out his stuff if you can uh, and here he is comedian of the week we weren't going to call Amelia originally, we were going to go for an Irish name, that's what my wife wanted, she's from an Irish family. But I decided we weren't going to give her an Irish name for the simple reason that the Irish names are the most complicated names in the world. <laughs> They're the only nation in the world that somehow managed to have more syllables in their name than they do letters. How is that possible? What's your name? Fanna Hardigan. <laughs> Sorry, my name is Fanna Hardigan. <clears throat> what? Fanna Hardigan. Fanna Hardigan. Not Fanna Hardigan. Fanna Hardigan. <laughs> Instead, no, you said fun on the hardigan, it's fun on the hardigan. <laughs> Are you burping in the middle, or is that part? My name is fun on the hardigan. Can you just spell it for me? Yes, F E. That's it. <laughs> what the fuck is that part? How can that be fun on the hardigan? <laughs> well, it's the complete opposite, isn't it? How do you spell your name? D E A O U R G H A O U R B A U A Y E umlaut E A O U R picture of vegetable A O U R abstract concept E A B H. How do you pronounce that? Dip! Dip, dip! We met some girls in Ireland on this tour. I said to her, So what's your name? She said, Siobhan. I went, Oh, that's one of those tricky names to spell. Let me see if I can remember how to spell it. Is it S H? No, no, it's not S H. You've gone wrong already. What do you mean I've gone wrong already? How can Siobhan not begin with an SH? Because it doesn't. Are you sure? The fuck is my name? I know how to spell my name and it's not SH. Well, what is it then? SIO. SIO. Siobhan. What are you on about? It's Siobhan. SIO. Oh, I could have sworn there was an H in there. There is. <laughs> what does that go then? It goes in the middle. There's an H in the middle of Siobhan. <laughs> yes. Where does that go after the V? There's no fucking V in Siobhan. <laughs> Are you pissed, love? What are you talking about? There's no V in Siobhan. Where does the H go then? It goes after the B, obviously. <laughs> Fuck are you talking about? <laughs> BH is pronounced V. No, it's not, love. It's pronounced Baha. Your name is Theo Baha Horn. <laughs> Theo Baha Horn. Have you met Fernanda Hardigan? Fernanda Hardigan. Have you met Theo Baha Horn? <laughs> What's your name? Neve. Oh, Neve. Right, let me have a go. N A I. Yes. Oh, I know the middle bit. Neve. B H. What the fuck are you talking about? B H and Neve. <laughs> well, she said, I don't care what she said. It's not B H. All right, it's a V. It's not a fucking V either. What do you mean it's not a V? What could it be? It's an M. <laughs> fucking M. Have you been in a job, crash? How can Neve have an M in it? Did they put their hands in a scrabble bag? Go like that and go, that's your name, good luck. <laughs> Wait a minute, Daddy, how do I pronounce that? Never mind, put your fucking clogs on and don't move your arms when you're dancing. Ah, uh, good stuff, good stuff. Well, thank you very much for joining us on our, on our third episode of Whiskey by the Fire with Chops. Um, uh, I didn't get any whiskey other than uh, during, I had a little bit of whiskey during my interview with, with Theo. Uh, but, uh, this week's whiskey was Kildegan, which is made in Westmeath, Ireland, dead center of the country. It's, uh, 
it's it's a nice whiskey, and they do a specialty flavor, specialty batch called Two Gingers. Um, I highly recommend giving that one a try. That one's uh, the, the superior of the two. It's got a nice caramel vanilla finish to it. It's uh, very 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 sippable, lovely whiskey. Uh, so uh, with that, I'm gonna uh, bid you adieu. Uh, be be kind to each other. Uh, be well. Be safe. Uh, coronavirus is still here. Um, sit by your fireplace. Uh, read stories to your kids. Play music with your kids. Play Dungeons and Dragons. I played that played yesterday with my housemate and his son. I haven't played about 35 years. It was awesome. Uh, so I'm actually kind of like looking forward to our next little session. Uh, so, uh, like I said, thanks thanks for joining us on our third episode here. And uh, each, I'm hoping that each week will get better and better. Uh, especially, I still don't have my, my my new webcam and my new microphone in yet. Uh, they, they're being delayed, shipped from uh, from California. So, uh, goodbye, all. And we'll see you soon. Whiskey by the fire. Whiskey by the fire. Whiskey by the fire. Whiskey by the fire